Hi everybody, welcome to EcoDriver. My name is Helmut. In this video, I'll show you what is more efficient, regenerating as much as possible or as little as possible. The car we have is the Mercedes-Benz EQA 250 with 140 kilowatts, and we do a loop in the city, around seven kilometers, 4.5 miles long. I do this loop four times. In the first two laps, I try to regenerate as little as possible, or to use a different word, uh, brake as little as possible keeping the car in motion and avoid a change of speed. In lap three and four, I will do the opposite, trying to brake more and regen as much as possible. I won't accelerate harder then, but I will just try to keep the speed longer, which then makes me brake and recuperate energy back to the battery. After the four laps, we should have found out which way is more efficient. In theory, it's clear and obvious, but we check whether it's true in practice as well, and if this helps to convince the doubters. Don't worry, you'll see the dashboard soon. So now I made it work. So down here you see the regen setting. I use D+, which means there is no braking when I lift my foot off the accelerator, which is perfect for this driving style. You see the traffic light ahead of us, which shows red. There's no car behind us, so I already started coasting. And if you're lucky, we avoid a stopping. So we are now at the end of the first two laps. After the first lap, I had 14.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers on the dashboard, and now it's 14.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Let me get this clear. You can also coast with other regen settings. In this case, with D minus or D double minus, but it's a bigger effort as you have to find the point of no regen with the pedal. And I find this just annoying and much less comfortable. And to make this clear, this is not a comparison of settings, that's a comparison of driving style. At the end of lap 3, the first one with a lot of region, we have 15.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. I used D- minus for this lap, and one thing I noticed is that the resistance of the accelerator pedal is stronger, so it takes more force to press it. This is the case with most EVs and another reason I don't like one pedal drive or strong region setting. We are now coming to the end of lap 4 and this whole test. And here we have 15.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And now let's check the data and see how big the difference really was. Okay, now let's have a look at this, but let me clarify one thing first. I often get comments which refer to my statement, I switch off regeneration. What is meant by that is that if I take my foot off the accelerator pedal, the car doesn't brake automatically. And so regenerates using the regenerative braking of the electric motor. Once I start braking with the, either with the foot pedals or the, um, the manual pedals, the car still does regenerate. Uh, there are only a few exceptions to that, like the new Kia EV6 or Hyundai Ioniq 5, which then for the first, if, if the region is set to zero for the first 10 brake procedures, uh, only use the mechanical friction brakes in order to clean the, uh, clean the brake discs and rub the rust off them. Uh, or if I brake so hard that they exceed the regenerative capacity of the brakes. 
And another misconception is that the setting decides whether you regen a lot or not. You can coast with OPD mode, it, it requ just requires more effort to do so, and you can regen a lot with zero regen set, um, but then you're on the brake pedal all the time. So, now the result. In the first two laps, we used an average of 14.2 kWh per 100 km. That's the average of the first two laps. And in lap 3 and 4, we used 17.2 kWh per 100 km. And if you check the times per lap, it didn't have any effect on the consumption. The slowest and the fastest lap were the ones with lots of region. But in both cases, consumption was way above the coasting laps. So, to conclude this, 21.1% more consumption and eventually it would uh, lead to less range, despite having recuperated a lot of energy, clearly shows that the theoretical advantage of less region slash braking when it comes to efficiency is real. But in the end, it's always the driver who makes the difference. Uh, changing the setting alone won't give you a different result. It just helps you with your driving style. And if you want to see more of this car, uh, I've done the consumption test on the EcoDriver loop. Uh, you can find this video here. And down here you can find my video with the five tips of how to drive uh, EVs more efficiently in general. If you generally like what I'm doing, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you won't miss any new video. That's it for the Mercedes EQA. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.